Hi everybody. This is about roasting coffee, so come on in. And I have never roasted coffee. In fact, when Jack roasts coffee, I'm gone. So anyway, this is uh, one perfectionist, maestro, telling me, not a perfectionist, how to do coffee. So it'll be simple to follow for all you people out there. So first, you need one pound of coffee, green coffee beans. You can buy them online in a one pound package. From Buy Canada. From buycoffeecanada.com. Or locally, you can buy coffee here. Um, but we just changed to online because their price, how much did it go? 25% at one shot. Yeah, 25%. So they we increased. changed. We changed. We can get it delivered to the door from the same place. So we don't have to drive and get it. It's here. So And cheaper. Now, we are using... Cheaper than we originally paid before the 25%. Yeah. yeah. And we're using Baymore, B-E-H-M-O-R, 1600 plus. And the reason we're doing this is because they do have an instruction manual, but if you follow it, you're going to get messed up. So we want to make sure that you know what you're doing when you use this machine and if you want to get this machine this coffee is delicious you'll be in a good mood all day so here we go you have to measure one pound and we have pre-measured green beans <laughs> one pound into here and I, I had a little kind of pre-course but we'll see how I do um, so we're just going to dump our beans in the basket that goes inside the machine and close the lid really good there we go so our beans are in the basket and you notice the machine has a little square knob and a little round knob and this is the square knob that goes to the right inside a little groove in there now, it should, there we are, it's sitting in there just good. And then there's um, the little, shaft collector. The shaft collector. It goes in here. Okay, now what? Close the door. Close the door. Turn on the light. Turn on the light. Light. There's a light switch right there. <coughs> now, uh, what do we got in there? We got a pound of coffee. Cool. Oh, hit one pound, right? Top button, yeah. It there's some numbers here. Okay, just, no, just give me a second here, give me. Because I don't think they can see what's going on here. Oops, excuse me. Boy, you can tell I'm good with the camera. Okay. Okay, it, so there's like one a half and a quarter, and we're doing one pound. So now what do I do? <laughs> Honey. Okay. So you're going to press D. Press? No, P5. Press. P5. P5. That's, That's your... the hottest temperature, right? Yes. Right. Okay, I press P5. Okay, now you can press D. Now I can press D. Which gives you 23 minutes. Which gives you 23 But you want to you wanna get as max minutes as you can. Yeah. Because of that, because why why we want to do that? Because... Because at 5 minutes and 45 seconds, for whatever reason, it does a countdown. Yeah. And we want so, longer to So get. that'll give us, that'll give us, we'll be almost done by the time that countdown comes. But at any we, rate. Yeah, we don't want black beans, but we want dark. Dark roast, yeah. So... Go no, ahead and... Uh, I have to increase the time. That's right. Do I just The push? plus, the plus, the plus. Oh, plus. Okay. Until you get 25, 30. That's the max time you can get out okay, of it. Okay, 25, 30. Okay. So now we're ready to start. Okay. So what do I do? Press start. Push start. Start. Okay. We're on P5. Okay, you're on P5, that's right. Yes. Now, now open the door. Now they can see that VIN turning, right? Yeah, VIN Now turning. I want you to press D and show that nothing happens. Press D. Just D, yeah. D. 
happens. Nothing happens. Now I've got, okay, so this is a little trick. So I want you to go to P1. Go to P1. I think I operate Okay, now seven. go back to P5. P5, back to P5. P5. I don't want to hit. Now hit D and watch what happens. Now hit D, D, D. The basket double Fast. speed yeah. went to double speed, which is good because I like it. I like things moving. Okay. okay, so close the door. You normally wouldn't open the door, but because we wanted to see that. Okay. okay. Now, you got maximum That's time. That's a trick that if you do this, you want to. Now you're at maximum time. Right. Now, the key thing here now is to keep an eye on the temperature. So, button B. Button B. Oh, yeah. If I push B, it'll tell me how hot it is in there. Yeah. Do we have to turn the fan on? Yeah, you can turn it to three. It's not too critical yet because nothing. Okay. Okay, press B. And that says 129. 129 Fahrenheit. Okay, so now we periodically push B. We're watching that we don't go too far over 300. Okay, we don't. We want, want to, to keep the temperature right around 300 till we're done. Yeah. That's a key factor. And how long does this take? Well, there's your clock. Oh, 23, and it's done when that counts down. Well, pretty much. Pretty close. Yeah, not and quite. Jack said, do not hit C. C for Carolyn, don't hit C. Because our timer will get screwed up. It'll, it'll go to 310 right it'll away. It'll go to 310, and then we're really hooped. Then so you're, no, then you're pushing 310 as many times as it takes to finish the beans. Yeah. So don't make that mistake, and then you don't have to push. Uh, of course, at the end, you did add push C, but. No, <laughs> yeah. Well, for something. Okay. Because of the countdown at 5.45. Yeah. So this gets quite a coffee smell, but we have a good fan uh, taking out this because, as you know, orchids do not like high-scented things. So this will, but it takes up, this is a pretty good machine, and it, this fan will take most of it. But you do smell that we've been roasting coffee. As far as roasters go, it's probably your best buy on the market for a machine. We've yeah. had it for what, six, seven years? Yeah, we started out with a popcorn popper and, and uh, <laughs> take it outside because you put your beans in the popcorn popper and, and they will get hot and they'll start like popcorn wheel, but then they'll start to crackle and you take them out, but it is so smoky. You have to do it outside, but we did start out that way until we decided we want to continue and uh, do that. So, <laughs> shall I press B? B counts sure. me. 205. 205. It's raising. Yeah. So, this is how we roast the coffee. Have I got a minute to show the coffee pot? Yeah. And then in the morning we have a antique. Hold it, hold it. Hold it. Yeah, we have an antique coffee pot. Let me move the scale out. We're done with the scale. And uh, we keep it in this corner. What's this called again? It's a vacuum. It's a vacuum coffee pot. So then that. The water goes in, and then we put this on, and you have to firmly... Filter. Huh? Filter. No. Oh, filter. You have to firmly kind of push it down. They say push down and twist. And then, this is the filter, and it goes in there. You put how much coffee you're going to use, and we have a... Revel thing, and we do two for coffee. Press two because there's two of us. And uh, put the coffee in. Then you just put the heat on it, and it starts to boil up. Boil when it starts to boil, you turn it down halfway, and all the coffee comes up in the top. And you let it do that for three or four minutes, and you got the best coffee you're gonna get. Comes to the top, and then. When you take it off the stove oh, yeah. and it cools. Yeah. 
Then when you take it off the stove and it cools, it all goes back down into the pot. Then you're done. Then you're done. That's a whole other video. <laughs> so. Check temperature. Okay, I'll put that back so it's ready for tomorrow morning. Check temperature B. Oh, you have to hold it, eh? 266. So, uh, this was a lot harder when <laughs> he was showing me a little while ago, but yeah, he's here because he may have to run in and then you'll get to see him. Of course, if I, Don't tell them. If I screw up, he'll be in here. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, I got some more orchids opening. Two orange ones opening. Looks like spring over there, but it isn't. It's uh, minus eight. Um, um, is that Celsius here? Celsius. Yeah, minus eight Celsius. Not. What would that be Fahrenheit? I don't know. We used to be Fahrenheit. It'd be uh, like 20, 24 or something. Yeah, it's darn cold. What it is. <laughs> So, coffee is really going because we sped it up. And, uh, temperature. Temperature. 288. How long does it go to 350? Did you say? No, no, three. Just over three. I, I Just over usually about 306, 7. Then I, then I hit P3. Oh. Yeah, I'm not too good with these gadgets. You know, orchids, yeah, coffee. So it says there's 18 minutes left. Hmm. Keep an eye on it, it goes, starts going pretty quick. Temperature. Temperature, oh, the temperature goes quick. 297. So we're putting near there. And then what do I do? We're going to go to P3. Oh. The way the P works is that P5 is, the element is on 100% of the time. When you go to P4, it's on like 80, 90% of the time. When you go to P3, then, you know, and so that's basically what happens. Is, 298. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's okay. Oh, yeah, because are we going to go to P4? Or We're going to turn it down because we don't want it to... Uh, go too hot. And what will happen is if it goes too hot is it will emergency shutdown. If it emergency shutdowns, then what happens is you can't do anything with the coffee beans until you cool everything, which takes 12 minutes, and then everything's cool and done, and then you have to start over. Now you're starting over with half-cooked beans. I don't think I don't think you get the same beans that way. So, so it's best to, to start out fresh and go through the cycle so as quickly as possible. So P5 is the hottest, right? P5 is the hottest. Check it, temperature. Check it, temperature. 297. Okay. So P4, is, is that where I'm turning it next, or P3? Three. P3. So that's cooler. P4 is the next coolest, and P3 is the next coolest. Yes. Yeah. Okay. 298. It's okay. I, let it get up to... 307, just so we got a good 300. That's what we want, a good 300. Yeah, we're showing this whole thing so that if, if you've always been interested in um, making your own, roasting your own coffee, then you can exactly see how it's done because we went through a lot of trial and errors before we got this. And like I say, the instructions were, uh, were a little not easy to follow. <laughs> well, they're still kind of white looking. Check the temperature. You'll say hit, 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 uh, hit P4. Three, three, three. three. Yeah, p three's on. And it tells you right here. So now do I have to keep watching temperature or not? Yeah, you do. I do? But it, it'll, it'll just go down slowly. But if you notice the beans are losing their green, they're starting to turn white or, or, or light brown. Yeah. They're not so green anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I can zoom. I'm green. I don't know. 
don't think you can see it. Right? I don't know. Anyway, it's hard to tell, I think, on the camera. But there's the beans. Cooking away. I, I can see they're getting darker. And then... And then they go into... Don't this. lift that up. Oh, don't lift that up. That stays on. You want to show it? We can lean it this way. That's no, okay. Okay, check temperature. Check temperature. You notice they're getting a little brown now. Two ninety-five. Okay. Is that okay? Yeah. This well, you, way you can see how the whole thing goes because you could be wondering if you're roasting. Well, it. I'll tell you what. If. Uh, you follow these steps, you'll make perfect coffee every time. If you try to uh, follow that book, you'll have more issues than you can imagine. Like fire? Yeah, all kinds of things. <laughs> we used to set okay. up fans. Temperature. Temperature. Two okay, so put it, to, put it to P4. P4? Or, yeah. Because it said 286, we're putting it to P4. I want to keep it around 300. Oh, I see. You keep that temperature up there and, uh, and uh, things move along very nicely. Okay. In the book, did they tell you to put it to P4? They don't tell you. That, forget the book. Oh, okay. Forget the book. You got a little puppy dog? Uh, he might be able to use that book. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to paint today because I thought Jack was going to do this, but of course, because the fan's on and this is making a noise, he thought you wouldn't hear me, but I bet you can. In other words, hear him when he is standing here. Uh, you never know, something could happen to you. Oh, they are getting brown. 284. I would never remember this. I'd have to write it down. Yeah, but if you did it as many times as I have. <laughs> but if you are thinking about buying a coffee machine, you see how this one works. And we went through looking at lots, and now we've had this one. How long? Oh, have seven this? years. I don't know. Yeah, a long time. They're not cheap, are they? Well, this is the best buy, bang for your buck, yeah. How much was it? This one's right around the $400 mark, four or five. 450 yeah. something like that. When I got it, it, I think I got it for 375 or something, but now they're like 450. And when I got mine, it wasn't a plus. I had to change that module when the oh. when the plus came out because before the plus, That's it was a nice. night it was a nightmare making coffee with this until oh. the plus came out. And yeah. when I was able to change that module, it allows me to do greater things. So this whole thing was changed. Those little tricks and stuff I'm showing you would not be available without the plus. So, so you, you want to make sure you get plus. Check temperature. Check temperature. 289. That's okay. We're holding pretty steady. The reason we set it up for as much time as we could get out of the unit is, is that uh, at Five minutes, 45 seconds, for whatever reason, this machine will do a countdown of 30 seconds. At the end of 30 seconds, if you don't intervene, it will shut down. So it'll go to cool mode. So then that's when we use the C button, but not till then. So if you're thinking about roasting your own coffee, <laughs> and uh, you want to get a machine like this, then you know, save this video or write down lots of good notes or both, and then they'll be safer. Yeah, if you follow these steps, you're, you're seeing smooth sailing. it in action. Okay, so uh, be, check it. Takes about a half an hour. Two ninety-three. See, that's good. We're holding right in there. That's yeah. good. Yeah. 
And you yeah. notice they're getting a nice color now. Yeah. And then we're going to listen for crackles or it'll yeah. just do it anyway. I don't know. You're going to hear crackles. There you are now. I heard crackles. Okay, this is your first crackle though, which will go on for a while. Oh. And then when the first crackle is done, there won't be any crackles. And then all of a sudden you'll get the second crackle, which is more like a machine gun fire. Oh. That's the one we want to hear, listen for. Because I just heard a few, but and I haven't Check heard. the timber. That's the first crackle, yeah. Uh, 295. Good. Yeah, that part where you spun up the thing, I think that was a good thing because it's getting lots of <clears throat> air. Well, you want to keep them moving because... Uh, it's kind of like the orchids, they like air. <laughs> a, a, a fire is a possibility you have to think about, but basically if you keep your unit clean, that's a very big priority. He's Mr. Clean. Oh yeah, he's been, I better check it out. Jack's had a new project going, he's, he's, he's been making, working on, which you'll see it sometime soon, maybe. Um, <laughs> he's made this whole frame for some stepping stones and for the front, it's going to look nice. Yeah, <laughs> check temperature. 300. That's where we want it. Do I have to lower it? I wouldn't change a thing. No. What are we on now? 4? P4? We're on P4. Yeah. Why is that doing a funny thing? Oh, okay. So now it went to uh, the countdown. Why? Because it does. Now, uh, hit. you're going to have to hit C. Hit C. Hit C, yeah. You're sure? Yeah. Okay, so now we've got three minutes and ten seconds. Okay, so the countdown changed. I'll tell you what. I always never added my plus minutes. Yeah. I always just forget about that and let it run. Yes. I figured that if we added the plus minutes, that we'd get more minutes before the countdown. Oh. But irregardless of whether you take those minutes or not, it's going to do its countdown. So that's why you always got to keep an eye How on it. How come it went on countdown? But it still had like eight minutes I know there. because we had added those extra minutes. Oh. If I'd have left it at 23 minutes yes. and then started everything, it would have gone to five minutes, 45 seconds. Oh. But because I added those three minutes or two and a half minutes or whatever it is, mm -hmm. then it went to... Oh, because I looked at it and said, oh, we got eight minutes left. Yeah, yeah. or not eight minutes, you had a couple It minutes. was something like that. A couple minutes. Should I check the temperature? Yeah. Or does it matter? Yeah. No, it matters. Always matters. Okay, hit P3. 304. P3. P3. Lowering the temperature. No, you're just, you're slowing things down a little slowing bit. Slowing things down. And now you're also listening for crackle. It smells good. And actually we should be probably turn. Do you see any smoke Put at all? Glass. Yeah, I smell. Okay, now we're going to get a little noisier because this, this, uh, Fan will actually sometimes if I got a lot of stuff on the stove, it'll it'll just hit it'll come on by itself if you don't even turn it on. It knows that it should be on. So I hit glass because it's extra strong. Now I'm gonna zoom in on those beans because they're getting nice and dark. Yeah, they are. I was gonna show. Zooming in on beans. Okay. Hit D for a second to slow it down. Hit what? D. D? As in Donald, yeah. Hit D. Now that slow the basket down so they can see. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know if you guys are going to get the color. Yeah, it's getting darker in there. This is flashing 36, Excuse me. 35. Okay, you got to hit C again. Hit C. C. Yep. Oh, that brings the Every time, time you hit three. C, you get three minutes and 10 oh, seconds. Oh, every time you hit three, you get 
three, you get C. C, you get three minutes. Yeah. Okay, I don't know if you can see the color there. But You'll see it. They are getting up. darker. See this fan? <laughs> this is a good fan. Why well, we hunted, but I was surprised how expensive they were. It really uh, does a pretty good job. It's an allure. By <coughs> temperature. Temperature. B, right? B. Yeah. Uh, two eighty nine. Put it back on four. P four. Yeah. Hi, Maggie. Oh, Maggie always wants attention. Come here. Come on. I'm waiting for the crap. Yeah. 286. And we're on four. That's good. Okay. Oh, uh, hit B again and speed it up. Hit B. We want it back to high speed. I only slowed it down hoping they could see it. But. Is that high speed? Yep. Not one twenty-six. I oh. have never We're hit temperature. Done this. Temperature. Two eighty-nine. I was, yep. oh, I heard a crackle. Oh, yeah. It'll get real rapid. If I wanted to turn the fan down to hear the crackle, it probably wouldn't go down anyway. Would it? Yeah. But you, you wait till you hear it crackle. Well, you watch your clock. Uh, Clock. Hey, no, let go, let go, hit C. Hit C. Yeah. Oh, every time you hit C, you get three more minutes. Yeah. In the beginning, you said don't hit C because... Well, because of your, you've got uh, 25 minutes, why would you hit C to change it to three minutes? Oh, right. Yeah. So only after it gets below three minutes, then you hit C. Oh, I can get it. I'm a little slow. If the countdown starts and it's going to quit on you, you better hit C to keep it going. Yeah. Because if it does quit, then what happens? Then it'll, you can't start it again until it's gone through school cycle and then oh. you're... No, you don't want to do that. It's crackling. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. 300. Perfect. It's crackling. Sounds like a little... Uh, big Rice Krispies, remember when you're a kid and you have your bones and that crackle pot? It's a little bit like that. Still crack. I was going to paint today. He says, well, maybe you shouldn't paint yet. <laughs> I'm working on that new picture. It's coming. Temperature? Huh? Temperature. 304. Is that good? And we're on P4. And I smell it more now. Not enough to bother the orchid. Yeah, way better than a popcorn popper, that's for sure. I mean, it's possible, but boy. I don't know how long we use the popcorn popper, but <laughs> you see people doing it on YouTube. So at this point, you're just taking the, looking for the roast you want. We're, watch your time. Oh, oh, C, right? Yeah. Scared to hit a wrong button. I'd be having a little note for the ABC and what it does, but anyway. There's still
Don't check temperature. Check temperature. Put it to three. Put it to P3. Okay, we're on P3. Because it said 309 Fahrenheit. I know this is a long video, but we wanted to show exactly how long it takes and what happens. Because if you're starting it for yourself, you're going to be uh, confused. We should be just about done. They do, uh, the crackle is in, not rapid? No. It's been crackling, but not. What's the color look like? Kind of, uh, you better come and have a look, I can honey. See, I'm asking you. Uh, they're not black, they're dark brown. Check the temperature. Check the temperature. 304. Yeah. Uh, do I have to hit D again? Go no, for three more minutes. You said C. Oh, C. Only, oh, yeah. only when the countdown. Oh. But I let the countdown go to four seconds, and then I hit it. You know, I, whatever you can do it. Whatever you can hit it now, and it go to three ten. I mean, that's just the way hit C. C. Is. No, you don't have to hit. Oh. I'm saying that if you did. What was D for again? B is the temperature. B's the temperature, but uh, 300. Perfect. But what's Listen. D? I forget what D is. Listen. B. D? B's a special mode that you, you use for, you have to follow the procedure, oh. okay? At this point, all B does is change the, temp the speed of the drum. Oh, But okay. in the beginning, it's used for other things. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, C. C. Why he, he says I'm not leaving the kitchen when he's doing coffee. <laughs> you have to stay here. Allow yourself a half an hour. What's that crackle? Oh, it's doing? really crackling. Okay, now this is the second crackle. Yeah. Now we just go like a minute or two into the second crackle and then we kill it. I wonder if that would go off if they could hear it crackling. Okay. It's not quite going yet. Anyway, turn it back on Did quick. Go oh yeah, because smoke. Yeah, just go. There it goes. Yeah, now it's going fast. Okay, we're we're uh would the color looks good? Yeah. I'd say we're done. We're right. So I've let it get right you in have a look. into a quick crackle. You know no, more. I let it get into a good solid quick crackle. We're done. Hit cool. Hit cool. What's cool? The last oh. bottom button. Hit cool. It, now it. watch out. Hi, we're back. We just took a few minutes break. We haven't opened. You let it cool. We let it cool. We haven't opened the machine. We've been waiting for you. So here, I am going to open the door. You can turn the light on in in the oven. Light. Yeah. Oh no, I unplugged it, sorry. Oh. No. <laughs> <Just> yeah. <laughs> okay, this comes, do I need gloves or anything? No. no Is it hot? Oh, cool. <laughs> no. So where do I take you this? You dump thing? that over there on the counter on the left. On the counter. Okay, this is the shaft, right? Yeah. Okay, just, just leave it. I, I'll have to take it. He's going to clean up later. Okay, now this comes out. Same way we put it in, very carefully. Okay. Oh. So, do I just just I shake it off over there with the other stuff? Yeah. Okay. Rub your hand over it to get off all the. So just take the shaft off. Yeah. Then can I open it? Yeah. I'm gonna have to get involved. Here. Okay. Here, so open that up. And then I guess we can show off the beans. Yeah. Here. Okay. A 
I'm zooming in there. Okay, you're you're good. Show them. Point a uh, higher. There. Okay. Just stay there. Okay, there's the there's the fresh beans. Shake them around a little bit. Okay. There they are. Okay. Then they gotta go into our grinder. We got a few left from the last back, so we probably No no, this is gonna go. Don't cut your head off. Do you want me to do that for a minute? There. Okay. So now these go. All right. Not, I don't do this. Anyway, so now you just put it in the way. If you try to fill it too full out of this basket, you're going to end up with beans everywhere. Put it in your hand. When you get to that last stage there, Seconds make a difference. Like if this would have gone like 20 seconds longer, they'd have been significantly darker. Uh, and so it's it, it's a critical time there. Okay, so now things have to get cleaned up. So there, I filled my bin, and uh, I can put that away. And then the critical thing is cleanliness. This stuff would burn real easy. So if you put the old stuff in there when you do a new batch, yeah, you, that's you, could, important. you could have a fire. Yeah, because there's so still lots of... Out of the way. Now, we save these. I don't know what do you do with them, Carol. I put them in the compost. They're good for the garden. Okay, put those over here for a minute. So I gather all this stuff up. Mm-hmm. And it's important the inside of the oven too, right? Mm -hmm. To clean the inside of the oven, that's yes, important. So then uh, I take the oven. Whoa. I try to collect as much of it as I can. This is a husband's job. Uh, I'd probably drop it. There. Okay. Are you following me? Yeah. I got you. Yeah. I'm over here now. Okay. Ooh. So then I take a vacuum. Yeah. And you want to make sure you get all that stuff. <laughs> get in all the crevices. Yeah. That's pretty good. So basically that's what you do there. Then what's very important is you take a, a cloth and uh, she moves things. Oh boy. Okay. Cast off soap. Okay. This stuff, cast off soap, which is, she's made a cast off soap thing. Mm -hmm. She can explain. I don't know what the heck. No, we just buy. We used to buy so, dogs. So oh. this stuff works good because it cut right through that. Yeah, and well it's and natural. Stuff. I water it down. Much, and it really does a good job. You want to clean that up because you will have a fire if you don't keep your meat unit clean. And you don't want a fire. You can imagine the trouble that would cause. So just you know, a little wipe here and there. 
there. And you do that every time, then you don't have a buildup and a problem. And your glass stays clean, and you can see what you're doing. So. Nice there. job. And then the same thing with these things. Yeah, everybody doesn't know if they want to see Jack. They have to watch to the very end of the video, all you people that have been wanting to see oh, him. Well, <laughs> okay, so then uh, just give it a good wipe. Make sure there's no oils and stuff. They're going to start a fire next time you run it. So just clean things out really good. Make sure you got no nothing here. And that's basically it. So then close her up. Put her all back together. Please. Not to get Carolyn to do this. <laughs> yeah, it's tricky. What the heck am I doing? Lid's not on right. Oh, there you go. My lid was twisted. There you go. There you go. There. there. Shove this guy in there. Put it like that. I've got the cord wrapped up already. It's ready to put away. Okay. No, this, I, I keep all of this. Waste not, want not. Well, no, because this is, the, you know, you use this. That's right. I thought about using it in the orchids, but it would create, close up too many air spaces. But some, some plants, you can check it out. You can use the coffee shaft for fertilization. Or you could make a nice tea out of it. Or you could. Anyway. Yeah, so then I just put that aside for her. If she Make does tea out she of does. coffee. <laughs> I put this guy back here. Okay. Everything's good. We're done. Vacuum around here and we're all done. We're done. Thank you very much. Thank I don't you. know if this was any help. It was nice talking to y'all. Goodbye. <laughs>